No car, no problem. Well, kinda. Today we're gonna be discussing the top neighborhoods in San Diego that are going to be best for people who are seeking to live in a walkable area. Welcome, my name is Jamie Lennon, local realtor here in San Diego, and I help people relocate from all over the country. So whether you're looking to make a move in one month or one year, know that you can give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email because we wanna help you make a smooth move out to the best in the West. All right, to start our list off is the biggest contender and most obvious choice, downtown San Diego. Walkability is the name of the game down here. But what I love about it is not only do you get to walk to restaurants and stores and things like that, but you also have parks that surround the downtown area. So right now I'm at Waterfront Park, which is one of the best parks, and they just kind of revamped the playground area this past year. The grassy area is closed right now because they are getting ready and they're setting up for Boots in the Park, which is a country music festival. They do it, I believe, two times a year. But this park hosts events throughout the year. There's EDM festivals, food festivals, pet festivals, you name it. They're gonna host it at this park. But walking downtown, yes, you can walk to go to happy hour. You can go to walk to get your coffee in the morning, but you can also walk to parks and the harbor and walk along the Embarcadero. There's just so many benefits to living here if you are seeking to live somewhere that's walkable. Living in downtown San Diego is going to be the most convenient out of all of them on our list today. And that's because it's the heart of the city. So everything is gonna be here. And no matter if you live in Little Italy or East Village, you can pretty much stay within your community and you'll have everything there for you. And if you live in Little Italy, you get the farmer's market on Saturday, which is huge. If you wanted to get to East Village from Little Italy, let's say, by foot, it'll take you about 30 minutes. So right there, you can see that the downtown area is really not that large. But if you didn't feel like walking, you can hop on a scooter. Pretty much any other option is going to be better when you compare it to circling around to find parking and paying for parking. And if you want a breakdown of all the various neighborhoods that make up the downtown area, make sure you check out one of my latest videos. I'm gonna go ahead and link that for you in the description below. The next on our list and probably the most vibrant and definitely colorful community in San Diego, North Park. North Park's downtown area runs along University Avenue and 30th Street, which is going to be the heart of this community. North Park is only three square miles, and within those three square miles, you can pretty much get around by foot fairly easily. So there are going to be restaurants, grocery stores, there's a Target that's close by as well, cafes, North Park's really big on coffee shops, they're everywhere. And then what North Park is specifically known for are breweries, lots of breweries, the art scene, and the entertainment scene. It's also just in a great location to other vibrant neighborhoods. You have University Heights, Normal Heights, and Hillcrest that border North Park. And then bordering to the south, Balboa Park. Okay, I feel like not too many people talk about this one and is why I put it on our list. I think Coronado is one of the best and of course, most walkable neighborhoods in San Diego in part because it is very small. Along Orange Avenue is where you find pretty much the bulk of where everything's at in Coronado. I wanna say it stretches from end to end about a mile, but I'm gonna double check that and I'll put that right here for you. But there's restaurants here, there's grocery stores, uh, postal annex, pet stores, there's a hardware store. Kids can walk to school here as well. So very quaint and very walkable. The island is pretty much split up into two sections. You have North Island, which is going to be all navy, and then south, which is going to be all 
residential. So when looking at the map, you see that there are only about 15 blocks of residential with one main strip for retail. Then the ocean borders the east and the west. You can't come to Coronado and not see golf carts roaming the streets. So residents can get around by foot, bike, golf cart, pretty much all the other options are gonna be better when you compare it to driving. All right, our last honorable mention in one of my favorite communities in San Diego, Bankers Hill. Bankers Hill runs north and south, bordering Balboa Park, and runs into Hillcrest to the north. So you can see by looking at the map that no matter which street or area you're on, you'll be walking distance to a lot of trendy restaurants and cafes that run along 4th and 5th Avenue and also be right here at Balboa Park. The one thing I'll mention is that there are no grocery stores in Bankers Hill. So to do your grocery shopping, most residents are gonna go out to Hillcrest, which is great because if you go along University Avenue and Hillcrest, you have a Trader Joe's, there's a Whole Foods, there's a Lazy Acres close by. So there's going to be a lot of natural grocery store options available to you, just not within walking distance. Bankers Hill is great. I always said that if I live in Little Italy now, and if I were to move, this would be number one on my list of places to move to. And it's only a few blocks away from Little Italy, which makes it great because you are close to downtown San Diego. One thing I will mention is it is in the flight path. But not all of Bankers Hill. So if you're south of Laurel Street, you will see planes coming in really close. But anything closer to Hillcrest, you're going to be out of the flight path. But if noise is a factor, just consider where in Bankers Hill you are considering to live. And other great things is it is walkable. You can go walk to restaurants, but you can also go to canyons. A lot of people will go run, jog, walk in the canyons. There's parks close by. You get views of downtown and you can get views of the bay as well, depending on where you're at. And it's extremely bike friendly here. Bankers Hill is such a charming and picturesque enclave in San Diego. It definitely packs a punch and it's fairly easy to get around to. Now let's say you live in Pacific Beach, Ocean Beach. We'll just take any beach community for example. They can be walkable, yes, but it depends on where you reside. So all these beach communities, they're going to cater to tourists. So there will be one, two blocks that will have the bulk of all the shopping and dining but that's pretty much it. So if you live far away from those blocks, then it won't necessarily be walkable to you. But if you live near the main strips, the main areas, then yes, it will be walkable. Again, it all just depends on where you live within these beach communities. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you want any more information on the four communities I mentioned today, or really any other area in San Diego, know that you can reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We are here for you anytime. And whether you're making a move in one month or one year, know that we wanna help you make a smooth move when the time is right, out to the best in the West. And I'm gonna leave you the same way I always do. And that is to stay classy, San Diego.